Does your AEG sound like it's blending its own innards? Sounds expensive, yes? Well, no, actually, as there's a good chance it's a pretty simple fix, as these horrific noises can be caused by incorrect motor alignment with the gearbox. That's less complicated than it actually sounds. This can either be caused by overzealously tightening the wrong screws, or can simply happen over time and through normal use. But don't worry, as it's a simple fix, that should only take seconds to remedy. Keep watching and we'll show you how. You'll need a screwdriver or an Allen key. In order to carry out this fix, the battery still needs to be connected to the gun, so take extra care and ensure that the gun is completely free of all BBs. So, in this instance, we're using a G36. Um, it, it doesn't really matter which gun you're using, an AK-47, M4, P90, MP5. They all have a motor in them, it all requires adjustment from time to time. So here on the bottom of the pistol grip, you'll see the pistol grip base plate. Now, there are lots of different variations of guns, and all of the place plates look different from model to model. So here on this one, you'll see there are two screws here. These hold the base plate onto the pistol grip. This large screw here is what secures the motor cage, which we'll show you later, to the base plate. And this hole here is how you get the Allen key into the motor cage to adjust the motor height. And all you would do is simply is push that through there. This is an MP5, and as you can see, the base plate is slightly different. We still have the two screws that hold the base plate to the pistol grip, but in the center, there's just one flathead screw, and that is the motor height adjustment on this particular model. So here we have a SIG 552, and as you can see, there are two fixing screws that hold the base plate to the pistol grip, and in the center there is a Allen key bolt for motor height adjustment. You'll have noticed that throughout all the guns, the motor height adjustment screw is generally the bolt or the screw in the center of the gun, because that's where the center axis of the motor will be found. Now, to fix this normally, you'd switch the gun to semi-automatic and adjust the motor height using the screw on the bottom of the hand grip until the gun is making the proper noises. That's it, no more, dead easy. And to show you what's going on inside the gun when you tighten the motor height screw, we've removed the gearbox from the gun. You don't need to do this. Can I say it again? You don't need to do this. This is just for illustrative purposes. Okay, so here we have the version three gearbox. We've hooked it up to a battery so the gun will cycle. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put the Allen key into the motor height adjustment screw at the bottom of the motor cage. Here we go. Now obviously, so that we can show you what the gearbox is going to sound like, we're gonna go way too far and it's gonna sound horrible. So obviously don't do this to your own gun at home. Now obviously there, the motor is way too high. So what we'll be looking to do now is in small increments, just turn the motor screw anti-clockwise. until the motor is no longer making that horrible sound. So obviously you can go the other way. So if you go too low on the motor height adjustment, this is what happens. And obviously that's where the pinion gear and the motor are not meshing with the bevel gear. So from there, you'd have to go back up. Until that horrible noise goes away. And the motor is now once again meshing with your bevel gear correctly. Remember to hit subscribe to keep up to date with our latest content. We also have a Facebook page. Just search for Airsoft Teardown on Facebook. And if you need any upgrades, repairs or custom work to your Airsoft guns, why not take a look at that bloke with the scar.com. 